There is a tech race going on right now. At least 50 companies around the world chasing the same wild dream, clean, limitless energy. Fusion energy could be the next big thing in sustainable power and Canada is very much in the running. So do we have what it takes to crack it? The answer might be here. This sci-fi looking machine is where Canadian company General Fusion is placing its bet on one of the boldest energy ideas out there. They think they can do what no other company has done yet, essentially creating a star here on Earth. Okay, to understand what I mean, we first need to talk about what is fusion. So really quickly, fusion is when you smash two hydrogen atoms together with such insane force, they fuse together. That releases a huge amount of energy at the atomic level, way more than most sources we use today. It's the same concept that powers the sun and essentially the opposite concept to nuclear fission where atoms are split apart. Also, fusion uses hydrogen. That's pretty easy to get from water. So we're talking about the potential for sustainable, unlimited energy with no meltdown risk, no long-term radioactive waste, no mining for radioactive ores. That sounds pretty magical, right? Well, there's a catch. The reason no one has been able to do this... It can't be sustained. We're putting more energy into creating the fusion than actually comes out of the process. So we can start it, but it's, yeah, how do we contain it? And how do we contain it for long enough that we can actually get more energy out than we put in to start the fusion reaction? To get hydrogen atoms to fuse, you need conditions that are hotter than the core of the sun. We're talking hundreds of millions of degrees, and that takes a massive amount of energy. So how is General Fusion different? Behind me is LM26. It will demonstrate fusion conditions in our unique approach called magnetized target fusion, and it will achieve temperatures of 10 million degrees within the next few months, 100 million degrees shortly after that, and ultimately will keep those temperatures, increase the density, and get to fusion conditions that we consider break-even conditions, where you actually have the conditions where you get more energy out of the reaction than it took to create it which will be the first private company in the world to achieve that. Unlike other teams using giant lasers or magnets to do the fusing, General Fusion is betting on a hybrid approach. They're using compression, straight up mashing like a piston that squishes plasma inside molten lithium. This approach is designed to be cheaper, faster, and easier to scale. It's not just a test though. It's meant to prove that this technology can work outside a laboratory. Our plan is to put our first power plant on the grid in the mid 2030s. We're on track to do that because of all the work we've done previously has led us to this position now where we've got this machine that over the next two years is gonna demonstrate break even fusion conditions, which will be a massive milestone for us and the fusion industry. They've got backing from governments, private investors, even individuals like Jeff Bezos, because if this works, it could change everything. But let's be real. There's a running joke in the science world. Fusion is always a decade away. Fusion is unlikely to play a role until probably 2050s, I would imagine. It, it's, it's important to not take our eye off what is happening now. We have a lot of cost-effective ways of reducing emissions, of cleaning up our electricity system right now. That includes renewables, conventional nuclear, and, uh, and energy efficiency. We should not wait for this magical solution that will may come up may come up in 20 years. It's also important to recognize that even when fusion is developed and is finally commercialized, which I hope will happen in the next coming decades, it's still going to be very expensive. So, can Canada win the fusion race? It's still anyone's game, but if General Fusion pulls this off, Canada wouldn't just be in the race, it could help change the future of energy.